we play pickleball at the Palmer Center on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. It's a sport that focuses more on the agility and the shot placement and strategy rather than power, um, but it's really good exercise and it's become very popular across the nation. It's a good active game and it's, uh, uh, it's not like tennis, you don't have to cover as much ground. It works on your balance and cardio and, and yet it's not hard on your joints the way tennis is because you're not moving as fast as far. It's a lot of fun. I like the social aspect of it from you know, the people that I've got to know and, and some new friends that I've made. I, I've got a lot of friends around here. You meet a lot of new people, always new people coming in. I've heard a lot of people say, hey, it was a great p way to meet people, have fun and play a game, and then we've developed friendships outside of pickleball from that. We hold a tournament once per year, usually in February or March. Um, and that's always a lot of fun. People register um, and we hold a men's tournament, a women's tournament, and a mixed doubles tournament. A friend here caught me off guard and she said, come be my partner in the tournament. It was a good experience, but we weren't the level of the people that were playing here, but we got to cheer other people on that we knew and stuff, so it was a lot of fun. Pickleball is springing up all over the country. It's supposedly the fastest growing sport in the United States. And uh, anybody that's looking, especially in the wintertime, anybody's looking for some indoor activity that, that will keep them in fairly good shape, uh, I would definitely recommend it. I mean, they offer it three times a week and they have it set up where there's an hour for beginners so you don't have to feel intimidated and everybody's really kind to help people that don't know anything about it get started. I enjoy helping out the new players and everything. Uh, we, we're getting a lot of new players these days. People can either pay a two dollar per visit drop-in fee or um, they can purchase a pickleball pass which is ten dollars per year for citizens of independence or twenty five dollars per year for those who live outside of independence or if someone has a silver sneakers pass or a renew active benefit through their insurance then the pickleball program would be covered through their insurance <laughs>